Hello and welcome to the sequel to Speedball. I will logically call Speedball 2. Probably would be silly if it was called Garden Simulator Indoor Edition. What is Speedball, you may ask? If not, I'll ask it for you. Firstly, I'm surprised you've never heard of one of the best alternative sports games ever made. Secondly, the answer is... I don't know. Bet you found that useful. A much better answer would be, it's loosely based on handball as we know it, with some minor differences. Take two teams, with nine players each, outfit them with body armor, throw them into a steel arena, the goal at each end, and then give them a steel ball, and tell them to win by any means necessary. What the heck is handball, I hear you ask? And the answer to that is 42. Here is the main menu screen giving you different options in how to play the game. Single player allows you to play a knockout, league, cup or practice modes. You can practice to get better. Probably never guessed that. Two player mode is for getting rid of friends you don't like anymore, especially if you are good at the game. Demo game is a 15 de seconds demonstration of the game. And replay goal uh, gives you the option to review saved replays. Knockout is a game mode where you face each opposing team, starting from the weakest, working your way through the ranks. When playing the league, you start in Division 2. You play two games against every other team. One set of home games and one set of away games. And if you're amongst the top two teams, you'll get promoted to Division 1, where everything is a lot tougher. For reference, Team Manager is a game mode you avoid. Unless you like hating your computer. A lot. A cup consists of random teams playing it out against each other, the aim being to win the final. You can get a tough opponent in your first round, so feel free to hit escape and be select cup until you get a more manageable opponent. And here is a game I recorded for your amusement. The Marcus starts out strong by an early lead. We charge through and try to see if we can even the score again. We increase our odds by using the scoring ram. And then we score the most beautiful goal ever seen. What a shocking experience. While I mainly have good things to say about this game, I will admit that certain times 
when you have multiple players nearby. You can find it a bit difficult to select which player should I take control. The computer had selected a buff uh, token that would lock their goal, so I was just trying to waste time. Straight down the middle is usually what works. It didn't work this time, but... High ball to the goalkeeper and tackle him when he tries to catch the ball. And it almost worked again. So, second half. Yeah, as you may have noticed in the bottom left side and bottom right side, there's blue and red bars. That was those indicate the health of the different players. You will find that some of the red bars are rather low. The computer just picked up an icon that prevents my team from moving for 10 seconds, so... Thankfully, we didn't get anything out of it. There you go. We passed to the goalkeeper and then we tackle him and score. Oops, did I do that? Injuring an uh, opposing player will give you the same amount of points as you get for scoring a goal, making it a viable tactic. And that was a mistake. I was going to pass it up, but... Oh, I know that in When it comes to the computer teams, most of their substitutions are weaker than their field players, so it usually pays to try and demolish their team. That's what I like to do, I Punch away at the goalkeeper and uh, score a goal. I know I'm not going too much into details about how this game plays out. If you want to work out more, then play it yourself. It's cool. That's it. A ah, nice win. When playing this game, you will lose. You'll win. And you'll discover a few ways to cripple an opponent. It's not nice, but it works. Ouch. Painful. So, reaching the end of this video, I hope you had fun with this, and I shall see you again. Bye bye.